pick you up and boom, 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 Hey Tifa, welcome back to another video and if you're new here, hi my name is Tamina and I make university lifestyle and fashion content and for today I'm going to be showing you how I take and edit my photos for Instagram. I've been getting a lot of DMs on this. I'm not even, this is not even the one where like two people ask and then I get gassed and then I come here and tell you guys how everyone has been asking though. No. This one is actually honest. Like my DM has been flooded with people asking me how I take my photos, how I even pose, how I edit, like just the whole thing. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Although I do have a video up on this already so I'll put it somewhere here and you guys can just check it out. I I feel like it went more in depth on especially how I take photos and all that but I'm still in this video I'm going to separate it into like three I'm going to talk about how I take my photos and that's going to be all about how the equipment I use do I use lighting do I use a tripod what do I use what camera do I use what phone do I use and then after that I'm going to talk about posing because as you're taking the photos you have to know how to pose what background you're going to be using and then after that I'm going to talk about editing and this time I'm going to go like I'm going to dive deep you guys i'm going to dive deep into my editing process because last time i feel like i briskly just mentioned that i have a recipe here and there on basco but i've also discovered some few new tips and tricks on editing and yeah i'm just going to give you guys everything you need to know class is in session <laughs> So I'm going to quickly start on the equipment that I use to take all my photos. So first of all, I use the Nikon Nikon Potato Potato P600 and I feel like it's a good camera but I really don't know how to work camera settings you guys. Like you know how people can, you know, adjust aperture, do all this, I don't know. Like I am not knowledgeable, I, I give up. <laughs> so I mostly use my phone even before this, um, before I got the new iPhone 11, I used to use the iPhone 6 to take most of my photos but I used to use the camera mostly to take like selfies and then I would use my phone to take like the far photos like outfit photos and all that because um as I told you this things come at focus I'm just not that knowledgeable <laughs> so yeah that's what I use I use natural lighting I don't have any lights I also just film with natural lights and which is the sun I just use what the Lord the good Lord has given us yeah and then for a tripod I just use the Promage BR Pro TR3140 um, tripod I got it from CD I just read from there <laughs> I read from um, I got it from CDI gadgets which is a Kenyan online shop on Instagram so you can just check them out it really it goes high because it extends to like 53 I feel like it was 53 inches so that's how tall it gets like it gets as tall as me that's the thing it just gets as tall as me so yeah that's what I use that all I use to take my photos so that equipment out of the way so the next thing we're going to talk about is how I take the photos for example how I pose I'm here to debunk the myth that you need an aesthetic room to take good photos um just like gender stereotypes that is true but it's incomplete an aesthetic room of course makes photos look much better it makes a photo look like wow what world do you live in can i be you but also an aesthetic room is not the only thing you need to make a photo look good like you can literally work with a white wall a pink wall a blue wall like anything you can literally like there are so many ideas and i'm going to show you some of the ideas you can use like the what with window shout out to you sis she put newspapers on her wall and then she took some photos you can use my like you can use so much you can use a sheet to act like a background you can use like a white sheet you can use like a blanket and hang it you can use like a really nice curtain that you've always liked and just hang it as a background you can use so much as a background an aesthetic room is not all you need guys so yeah after my little rant on gender stereotypes, I always just find I just have to find a way to bring in gender stereotypes into a video about taking Instagram photos. Who else? Who else, you guys? <laughs> so yeah, um, that's it for how I take the photos. And I think I'm going to should I take some photos today? Maybe I should take some photos so that I can just like demonstrate to you guys how I take, how I pose. And for posing, I'm just going to give like a quick um disclaimer. You just have to know like your angles. So like for me, I know that what looks most flattering is when I face ahead and I just look dead straight at the camera make it feel uncomfortable that's like the best one also I feel like this is my good side but this is like my better side as I told you this side is sometimes she's questionable but this side is always shining but sometimes both sides are just always shining so you just need to know like do you look good when you arc one eye do you look good when you face like this do you look when you do like how do you look when you do like the you know how all the boys on Instagram like when they take the photo they do like the little smiles you know how they do it like you need to just 
know your angle just go practice your angles know what looks good for you but also when i'm taking my photos i use the front facing camera so that i can see when i'm looking stupid and when i'm editing some photos i'll show you how stupid i usually look in some photos it's even embarrassing so yeah let's just you know let's just try take some photos today maybe we can try it indoors um and then i'll show you guys the posing pro process because i'll screen record what um what my phone sees and then you guys will be able to see <laughs> So we're going to have to do this kind of vlog style story guys. I hope you guys like vlog style. So I was thinking I want to take like a photo next to this mirror and have this plant over here. Um, I feel like that's really cute and my outfit is all white and I really just like the all white vibe. Also that just goes to show like when you're taking photos maybe just take like into account what's your preferred style. So for me my preferred style is I like white and then I like warm color so I like browns. Um, is blonde warm color? <clears throat> I like browns. <laughs> I also like some cool colors such as blue, green. Yeah, those are the only cool colors I like in. So that's my overall style. It's white, browns, blues, and greens. And yeah, it's barely ever like, you know, find me with like purples. I just have like a consistent white, brown, green, blue theme going on. So yeah, I want to take some photos next to this mirror. So I just want to set it up because I have like a nice brown dream catcher over here. I have some green. I have like a like this green plant this green plant you know this if you watched my room tour you know this green plant and then i have my trusty mirror over here and yeah i just want to sit on the floor because also my floor is like brown yeah i think that's it i'm just going to sit on the floor wear some slides or like wear some sneakers to make it a bit more dressy and that's going to be the photo i'm going to screen record everything that my camera sees so that you guys can be able to see it and yeah so what I've done is I've just like zhuzhed my hair a little bit. I've just removed like most of the curly pieces, removed more of the curly pieces over here. And I think I'm going to add some jewelry. I have this really cute bubble earrings that are lost, but I will find them. <laughs> And yeah, I feel like you just have to, again, find your style. And for me, I don't like looking so... I don't like my hair looking neat. Okay, I just like some like distress, like I don't know, curls out, everything out. I like that look a lot. And for makeup, I always go as minimalistic as possible because I don't know how to do makeup. So when I do a lot of makeup, I feel like I look like a clown and I don't want to look like a clown. So yeah, I always do the mo like the least, you know the least that as in I just do such little makeup that even I can't mess it up, you know. So yeah, that's it. That's what I do. My outfit is this the best. I worn this on a TikTok once. Yeah. Let's just begin. It's raining. Gosh, guys. You're watching the Weather Channel. Your most accurate and dependable source of weather information 24 hours a day. Hey, good evening. You're watching the Weather Channel here on a Friday evening. Keep close with us, Janetta Jones. And as we look out there, Janetta, look for us. yesterday the lighting got really bad so i had to continue filming like today so the next day <laughs> so i'm here filming today um what am i saying okay let me get to the point so today we're going to edit the photos i took yesterday so here's how we're going to do it we're going to edit three photos um we're going to edit one the portrait mode one where my face okay i'll just put it here and then after that one we're going to edit the one where i, I took yesterday with bad lighting conditions and then i'm just going to edit like a bonus one i don't know which one i'll edit yet but you guys have been really interested in the ones i've recently edited so the ones i'm going to show you so i'm just going to screen record everything that i do on my phone and then i'm going to put it somewhere here or i'm going to like shrink myself and then make that like the bigger thing so yeah one of those guys <laughs> so let's just get to it um of course, we are going to start with like the 
natural ones. Yeah, so I've said screen recording. So we're going to start with the unedited ones. So this is how the first unedited one looked. And yeah, we're going to edit this one. And then I think we should edit maybe this one. And then we edit the one where I was sitting down. I'll show you guys. So let's just begin. Okay, so I've arranged everything in my favorite folder. So one thing I'll tell you is after you shoot, you're going to have like a lot of photos. Probably like, I usually have around maybe, it depends on how much energy I have that day. So I usually have around maybe 20, maybe 15, 30 photos. So you need to go through all your photos and choose your favorite ones. And then you can just like favorite them on your phone. And then everything will be on your favorite um, like tab, on your favorite album. So after that, it will make it so much easier. So everything will just be in your favorite album. And I think I'll begin by showing you how I edited um, this particular photo. So um, let's go to the original photo. Yes, so this is the original photo. And um, the first app that I always go into is Vasco. Yeah, it's loading. So we'll go into Vasco and then we'll get images from my favorites, yeah? And then that's how I, that's what I'm telling you. It just makes it so much easier. So once I've gone to import now, there's the photo. Then we're going to go to, if you've seen me clicking, I've just clicked my recipes. So I have a recipe and what a recipe is, it's like a preset. It's a fancy name for a preset. And what a preset is, is settings that you've already like put together or you've like bundled up on your photo so it's like a bundle of settings in which you have like you've already worked on your exposure you've already worked on your contrast you've already worked on everything sis and you're ready to just put it so it's called a preset meaning pre settings you already have your settings ready so that's what a recipe is also and this is just now on vasco i think vasco gives it like more of a fancy name so the filter that i use for all my presets is the c8 filter and i put it at 12 i put my contrast at zero um, negative 0 0.5 I put my white balance wait what I put my white balance at um, positive 1.2 and then white tint at negative 0 0.7 saturation at negative 0 0.9 skin tone at plus 6 so that's just like my basic recipe but it's never it doesn't apply well for all my photos it depends on the lighting depends on a lot of things so i always still go back to just work on it inside basco and the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to reduce the temperature you know that my my biggest color is brown but i find this photo too brown so what i'm going to do is i'm going to reduce the temperature a bit and that just takes down a bit of the browns and then i'm going to increase the tint a bit because the tint just makes the walls more white and then i'm going to take down the temperature just a bit more and that's perfect and then i'm going to go into saturation and just reduce my saturation just a bit more and then i'm going to go into exposure and in just increase it to like positive 0.1 no, I actually like it with negative. Like, it really depends, you guys. You just work on this until you feel like you're getting to the settings you want. And then um, everything, the lighting on this day was perfect. Um, everything looks sharp. Everything is looking as it should. So that's all I really do on Vasco. And then we save. And then once you've saved, now the next thing I go into is face tune. And there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of shame associated with face tune and i don't know why you guys this app is like the best app so yeah i'm going to go into my photos um i've just edited it and i'm going to go into the retouch tool now here i'm going to use the whiten tool and i'm going to whiten the walls just like i did in my last video so let's just go in whiten these walls because the walls like the walls in my room as you can see are super white but when i take photos of course the lighting does not reach the walls so it makes them look kind of not white makes them look cream which i don't want so i always go in whiten the walls and i go really in like i zoom into the mirror i zoom into this hard to reach places and i make sure everything is just white and then you can um adjust the amount of white you want and i want it like there and then the next thing i'm going to go into is details i really like bringing out the details in my eyes as you can see there was like a hair almost in my eye <laughs> So I bring out the details in my eyes, like, of course. 
and then once you bring out the details in your eyes and the walls are super white there's like a contrast between your eyes and the walls and it makes your eyes look like they're red so i always go in and also just go into the cornea of my eye and make it as white as it is in real life actually you know, let me tell you what i do on facetune on facetune i'm trying to make everything look like the way like if you walked into my room now what would you see like you know like for example sometimes when you take photos um, I'm sure this especially applies to people who like do makeup. Sometimes the the lighting like dims your make it makes your makeup not look as pigmented as it is in real life. So you just go over here and make it look like the way it looks in real life. So I've just made my eyes whiter. Yeah, that's it. That's all I'm going to do here. Do I need anything else? No. Then Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into paint. I know you're looking at me like, wait, what? Yeah, so what's happening here is the light made my top kind of see-through. I don't want that. I don't want that. So I'm just going to make my top as black as it was, like, like this. I'm going to make my top as black as this. So I'm just going to go into paint and then I'm going to take the picker. But I'm just going to pick the black that was actually on my top. And then I'm going to go into paint. And then now with this, I'm going to just go over my top you see it just makes it as black as it was in real life yeah you have to really go in guys you can also erase so don't worry wait what no 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 yeah you can also erase if you feel like you get some paint in places that you don't want it yeah just go on like this I always go like I'm such a detailed person I'll even go to the like the sleeves <laughs> and I'll start editing that okay and now your top is looking as black as it was in real life you can reduce the amount um, of black that it's looking and there's a part here that had received too much light so I'm just going to go into the actual black one um, and just paint that part now the real black and yeah I'm going to erase there are some places here I can see why is it going to glitter So that's it that's and my version of facetune is pretty much it's actually free i use the free version so you don't have to pay for this and that's how your photo is going to be looking so you may be wondering how i get like this um dust kind of things on my photo so after that i go into kunikam and i just take that photo and i press edit and then i go into dust and then there are various types of dust over here so i'm just going to click this one and reduce it by a bit no i think d4 d5 d3 yeah save so yeah automatically it saves and then you can go into snow cam press edit um what can we do here oh no, there's nothing to do here today. Yeah. So after that, I've just used Vasco, I've used Facetune, and I've used Kunikam to edit that one photo. So let's go to the next photo. Also, here's a little tip. I'm not going to stand here, okay, sit here, <laughs> and pretend like I think everyone has like a camera just lying around ready to be used, or like an iPhone that has portrait mode, or just like any phone that has portrait mode. So, also, if you want to blur your backgrounds and you don't have portrait mode, but you want like that blurry background effect like the one I have here, then what you do, let me tell you, just go to, um, go to Facetune, 
this like major key guys okay go to face tune and then get your um defocus just go to your defocus um option and then you just start defocusing the background and then it like kind of blurs it you get so if you want more blur and you can also reduce the amount of defocus that you want you can increase the amount of light that you want so that it can show you what it's going to defocus on so that's just like a key for anyone who wants that effect but doesn't have like equipment to get that effect so let's say you want to take a photo like this you just take your selfie as usual and then you would go and just defocus the whole background behind you your hair and everything and then yeah that's just it you guys yeah so the next photo i'm going to show you how to edit is photo a photo that needs redemption ah! okay these are the photos i took yesterday they were so bad the lighting was horrible like if i can edit these photos to look good then i'm done this video is over so here are the photos i took yesterday okay let me screen record oh it's screen recording okay here are the photos i took yesterday it was this one this one and this one like there's no sharpness you can barely see my face like everything is very blurred it's not the best photo i would just say and there's something there's another thing if you take photos in like really bad lighting conditions i don't know what it does but it's going to make your eyes look so red you know like the way if you take photos at night it gives your eyes like this red why how how is my eye red so yeah it gives your eye like this red color and you just look like you're high and you're not even high so yes that's how my eyes look in these photos they look so looks like i'm high you guys so yeah we're just going to begin editing these same process so i'm just going to open up vasco cam i'm going to go into my favorites because that's where i've saved them um i think my favorite one is this one so i'm going to import it and then yes so i'm going to just apply my filter the one that i described to you guys i'm going to come into this place and i'm going to reduce this temperature it's a lot of there's a lot of temperature in this one yeah i'm going to reduce it till there and then i'm going to increase the tint just a bit i'm going to reduce the saturation yeah and then i'm going to increase the expo yes that really looks 10 times better i'm going to increase the exposure a bit so i'm going to save that and then we're going to go into facetune i'm going to take that photo I'm going to go into retouch. I'm going to, of course, whiten the world. You know the drill, guys, by now. Whiten the world, whiten the world. Then, for this particular photo, we're going to have to use the smoothing tool because here's a major key again. The smoothing tool is not like just for skin but also if you've taken your photos in really low lighting conditions you will find that there's a lot of grain in your photos like those things that look like little specks of things in your photos like i don't know what it is but there's a lot of grain because it's struggling to take photos in good light so it's going to come out a lot grainier than if you take photos in like really nice lighting like i have right now so we're going to have to use a smoothing tool we're just going to look look like you can see look at look at all this grain this is not my look here's my skin and here is the grain like what's that we don't need that so of course we're going to just go smooth that out that grain we're literally trying to smooth the grain out so that the photo doesn't look so grainy yeah so once you've done that we're going to go retouch again and i want to whiten look at look at my eyes jesus is lord tell me i don't look high oh my god okay so yeah we're going to go in and just whiten these eyes i think this is like major 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 key to this photo looking a lot better That's pretty much it guys so yeah my eyes are now dazzling white ha 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 take that bad lighting conditions of course i'm going to go in detail my eyes a bit the black part so they just pop more and now you see my eyes are actually part of the photo so it looks much better so yeah once we're done with that I'm going to go into 
snow now here we're going to go into the snow app because i need to still get rid of that grain there's a lot of grain in this photo so we're going to go into beauty we're going to go into skin then we're just going to increase it by 57. see how it smoothened that out like there's literally no grain on these photos yeah and that's pretty much it and then we're going to go into kunikam to add like that dust that i was telling you guys so edit and then we're going to just go click dust and then choose the dust option that you like i think i'll go with d4 d5 is good also yeah and that's it let me show you the two photos so this is oh no so we've come from actually let me show you from my favorite tab i'll show you how we've come from um this photo and now we have this photo and that's just it guys that's how easy it is to edit these photos it takes around 10 minutes or so and you can mess around with other things on these apps that i've shown you mostly on those apps that i've shown you like on kuni i only use it for dust like that's it for facetune i use it for whitening smoothing just as you've seen and for snow snow has a lot of things i've not even explored it yet i just got it because it helps you really mess with the lighting it helps you do a lot of that so yeah so yeah that's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching you guys i hope it wasn't too boring and i hope you guys have learned a thing or two because literally you guys have requested for this video so this is all for you this is all my love pouring out for you guys you know so yeah <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next video if you've reached this point comment um comment vasco or you can just comment any app the favorite app you can comment kuni app yeah so yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. So much love for you guys. Thank you for all your support. And yeah, bye T-Fam.